Hello, I'm Carl Gibson. I'm one of the owners of Quick Track Engineering UK Limited, the manufacturer of world famous Shark Eye Quick Track wheel liners. This video today is to show you how to use the calibration rig for self calibration. So, we've got the rig here, which you should have, or you shouldn't be watching this video really. So, here's the rig, it's made up of these parts here. First off, you want the rear flags off your line. So, take the take these off the hanger and basically we put them onto these. And tighten off and them so they don't fall off. And then put them out of the way. Right, now you want your aligner. So, here's some we made earlier. When aligning it, when coming up to calibrate it, make sure the hanger is at its full extremity. It wants to be all the way down, close there, so you've got the leg out of the bottom. What we do now, we take the cover plate off. And we put the screws back in here so I don't lose them. What we do now, we take one of the bars. So you want this bar here, looks like this, it doesn't matter which one you use, they both take exactly the same. Precision machine. So go through there like that as you can see. You want the holes, you want little allen keys facing up, you want them. At 90 degrees. I'll we'll show you what. And again with the other one. Same format. Right, your aligner should be able to stand up on its own now. So that's what you're after. Now you take these bits, the ones with your rear flags on, and you slide them through the holes. You want to go through both calibration bars. What I suggest is you get that, put your finger on there, and make sure that's flush. Then nip it down. Make sure that's straight. So you want the laser straight across that as you can. Right now nip these down into place, have a tight. Don't have a tight one because it is steel and aluminium so you will thread it quite quickly. So now we have the line set up, both switched on, and both reading straight. That's how you initially set up the calibration rig to get the readings. What we'll show you now is how to actually set the calibration. Right, the end caps are out, we've moved it in position. What you're interested in now, underneath the machine there's two bolts. One's protruding, and it's a large hex head. The other one's a countersunk, smaller hex head. It's the smaller one that we're after the cancer one. The big one holds the whole tray in place. You don't touch that in this. When you're doing this now, if you're going to change battery and stuff like that on the other videos, you'll know that. But on this one now, we just bothered about this little cancer one. What we need to do, we need to slightly loosen it off. Don't worry about that cracking noise, it's because they're loctited in the production process. As you can see, Sam's using a screwdriver. There's a little pivot hole in the laser block. Put a screwdriver in that that fits quite snug, and you use that to move the laser backwards and forwards. What we're after here is basically zero, zero. This machine has to be <coughs> calibrated to itself. Don't worry about the ring buttons and stuff like that. These are not relevant right now. These are precision made and they're exactly the same length, whatever we do. So they sit on 
and the way. So this is still precision the way that we're doing it. Zero, zero, all the way across on the millimeter scale. Once you've set that, we come to the rear. We'll find it easier if we actually turn it round and do the same thing. So we've got the rear overhanging. It'll be easier for access. And we're doing the same. Same applies with the rear. You've got two bolts and it's the same setup. We're after the little count sunk one that holds the laser block. So again, we undo it. And it's the same setup. Screwdriver in the back or a pick. And you're setting them to 10 in the middle of the big tent. Same on this side as well. So there we have a calibrate machine. Zero, zero, 10, 10. That's what you're after. Clip everything back up. Don't ever tighten it, as I say. And it's calibrated again now. Thank you for watching.